family. We are just here at Glenwood Elementary. We just dropped off all of the 40 backpacks that you guys stuffed and supplied for Glenwood Elementary. We're so excited to partner with Glenwood um, over this coming year. They have about 80 students that are in regular need of different supplies for their family. Right now, I would love to introduce you to my friend Tammy. She works here at the school. She is um, such an amazing woman who has such a love for the families here at Glenwood. She's gonna show you around with some of the things that, um, that they do and how they help support families here. So this space here is filled right now with some, some food and different items to get us started off in the school year. Breakfast items so kids can come in and eat or grab snacks if they need them. I do have some extra school supply stuff here, school supply type things that I'll distribute into the classrooms for the teachers. Once this is empty, I fill this with food so families can come in and they can shop. Here is some of the bags that you guys have brought for us that we're so appreciative. Thank you, thank you. We realize that everybody works so hard on it and yes, like so much gratitude and the kids will really appreciate it. So this is all brand new clothes for girls. It's all in sized orders. So if kids need extra clothing, then they can come and take what they need. I forgot my keys today. So in here is uh, just some cooking things that we have. Um, I do have a little bit of food down there. I try to distribute food into each of the classrooms. All this is my compostable plates, and as well as that over there. I will go through this probably halfway through the year. This is our freezer fridge for out here because this is overflow. Fridge also and freezer for food. We just got a new stove because there was some money from the government. That's where that fridge and freezer came from as well. Um, we have a new dishwasher that's going to go in there. Um, we're going to run some hot breakfast twice a week, I think a couple times a week. If anybody wants to volunteer for that, <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Oh. Do you know what days you're doing that on? I'm not sure. I'll okay. know that when yeah. I, yeah, when we come back, because that's yeah. something that they're going to implement. No, that's great. Um, I bet there'd be here. some people who might want to volunteer and, and help out with yes, that. Yes, and this is boys, like boys clothes and stuff. I'm short on pants, for sure, for okay. boys. Um, I do like stock for for families, so they can come in and grab uh, toiletries, like household things, toilet paper. This is filled with hoodies and sweaters. Hoodies and sweaters up there. There's a few jogging pants, socks. Um, and then these are filled, I forgot my keys, <laughs> with shoes, brand new shoes for kids. I have the shoes over there that are used, and then I keep the brand new ones in here. A lot of my grads go to food. Um, and that's great, but families need other things mm -hmm. too. It's like being able to buy things like this and keep the stock full. So, um, and then my food stock. Yeah, yeah. so. No, oh, that's great. That's us. Um, over the course of this coming year, we're going to be providing different ways that our church family can volunteer. So stay tuned, uh, sign up for our mission newsletter because that's where we're gonna get all of the information for that. Thank you so much, Burnett family. We so appreciate your generosity and for helping to support our local community.